Simplify, Factor, and Expand. In this video, we will see how to use the Simplify, Factor, and Expand commands in Mathematica. Let's take a look at a few examples. We'll start by simplifying this expression. t squared minus 4 divided by t minus 2. I'm going to copy this expression and then run the following code. Simplify, noting that the S is capital. I'm going to paste the expression or type it out, then hit Shift Enter. And we see that this simplifies to 2 plus t. That's because Mathematica can see that the numerator t squared minus 4 factors to t minus 2 and t plus 2 and it cancels with the 2 minus t in the denominator leaving us with 2 plus t. Mathematica does its polynomials in ascending not descending order that's why we see 2 plus t. Let's take a look at these two square root of t then squared as opposed to square root of t squared. In this case, the t is squared first. In this case, the t is square rooted first. Let's see how they differ. Simplify, we're going to start with the first one. So square root of t, then squared. And we see that Mathematica outputs t. That's because square root and square are inverses, and they cancel each other out. If you were to evaluate in your calculator, square root of 25, then squared, you would get square root of 25 is 5, 5 squared is 25. The output is the same as the input. Let's take a look at what happens when we square t first. Simplify square root of t squared. Notice that the t is being squared first in this case. And Mathematica does not simplify this. That is because square root of t squared does not simplify to t if t has a negative value. Mathematica knows this and so it leaves it as just square root of t squared. If you think about it, if t is negative 3, negative 3 squared is 9, 9 square rooted is 3. So you do not have the same input and output. Let's take a look at the next example. Factor this fourth degree polynomial. I'm going to start by copying and pasting typing in the factor command with a capital F, paste, end brace, and shift enter. Notice that Mathematica can quickly factor polynomials of fourth degree or even higher. And here we see the polynomial factored. Last, let's look at this one. Expand x minus 1 to the tenth. We just type in expand x minus 1 to the tenth. Shift enter and we see in ascending order the tenth degree polynomial. Now of course this would take a long time to do by hand but this shows some of the uh, valuable uh, resources that Mathematica has. 